So I say this a lot on social media and people lose their minds. But you know what, I got thick skin. Sometimes I don't care, most of the time. So we are going to talk about it today, my friends. I think Kevin Owens is a modern day goat which stands for greatest Oz all time. Why? Here's why. The answer is mostly because I think he's brilliant. <laughs> But the way I always summarise this is that if we are talking about modern day wrestlers, I would always throw Kevin Owens in there. Because seriously, what can't he do? He always has good matches, and in fact I can't remember the last time he had a bad one. He could be a serious character, he could be an emotional character, he could be an asshole like when he always turns on Sami Zayn. He can be hilarious, he can embody Goofy Wrestling for Life, which he basically did in 2016 with Chris Jericho. And he's one of the only people within the world of professional wrestling that understands about wrestling tropes. Anytime he's like, how dare you come out here before I've said your name, I just love people breaking the fourth wall, and it is a skill. Not everyone can do it. Sometimes people try, it's like, oh, this is horribly embarrassing. But when KO does it, he just has me on the floor, which is weird. He's also a really inspirational dude, because I remember listening to podcasts back in the day, and everybody were talking about Kevin Owens, because he was a standout on the independent scene, including Ring of Honor, and it was always caveated with, well, he'll never make it to WWE, because he's not a Vince McMahon guy. Now, listen, I'm sure he got into NXT because of Triple H, but when he was called up to the main roster, when Vince was definitely pulling the strings, what happened pretty much from day one, even McMahon went, this guy is just the absolute best, we better do something with him, and he beat John Cena. I remember watching that pay-per-view, I couldn't believe it. It all comes down to this idea, though, that the cream always rises to the top. And if we are talking about milky substances, <laughs> KO is right up there. I shouldn't have said it, and it made myself laugh. I also just think it comes down to emotion and how certain superstars make you feel. Because no matter what Kevin Owens has done over the last few years, I have been invested. Like, even when he was taking on Roman Reigns at every single Royal Rumble in existence, I knew deep down in my tootsie toes he was never going to win. It was also like this 2% thing in my tum-tum when I was desperate for him to get something out of this, any kind of a victory, because it would have made me happy. Why the hell do I watch wrestling in the first place? For the smiles. His relationship with Sami Zayn is also absolutely wonderful, which is why at that WrestleMania main event when they took on the Usos to win the tag team titles, all of this was just heightened. And then, yeah, we go to WrestleMania 38 where he main evented with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now listen, this is a flubbed up thing for me to say, but I was blessed enough to be there live, and I kind of <laughs> felt like I was watching my own son. Not in a creepy way, but I was so proud of Kevin Owens for basically achieving all of his dreams. And that's because over the years, I built up some kind of weird emotional connection with him. And again, this all sounds like crazy stalker stuff, but you know what I'm talking about. It's why we love professional wrestling to the degree that we do do, because you're able to suspend your disbelief you start thinking everything you see is totally what really real. I also do think he's massively underrated when it comes to his in-ring work, because he is another one of these guys that could see the direction the industry was going and battered down that door. I think this was like 2014. In fact, it was probably even earlier. He's also able to be a huge success in WWE, despite not being a body guy. Although I hate that term, it's stupid, because Kevin Owens is meant to look like a brawler who could whoop your ass. If you are one of these idiots that go, oh man, Kevin Owens is so out of shape. Have you ever seen him blow up? Have you ever seen him be out of breath? No, you have not, because he's in great shape, you fools. You just don't understand what cardiovascular activity is. So honestly, and I'm sure you will disagree, I cannot find fault with his game. When he talks, he listens. When he fights, I totally believe every single thing that he's doing. And as I stand here in September 2024, I am desperate that he gets one more WWE world title reign even though we did give it to him in 2016. That was totally screwed up. Remember everything with Goldberg when he beat him in like three seconds, even though Chris Jericho cast the distraction? That was poop. He's also a guy that I look forward to seeing every single week, even when he's lost in the ether. I mean, that happens to all wrestlers. You can't always be the focal point, and you can get lost in the shuffle, but even then, he will just pop up his head above the parapet, and instantly I want to hear what he's going to say, and I want to hear what he's going to do. He's even good at colour commentary. Every time he does that as well, he's making me laugh. You also know that WWE value him as well because the last time he signed a brand new contract, he made all the money. And apparently, that contract is coming up soon. And there's already murmurs of AEW being like, well, we'll hurl the bag at your face. And WWE being like, well, we'll pull the dump truck up to your house. And once again, my friends, this doesn't happen by fluke. This doesn't happen just to be nice to someone. It's because they both understand the value of the guy. And value mostly comes from talent. And Kevin Owens, in terms of the modern generation, 
one of the most talented guys you will ever see. Going back to that WrestleMania match with Austin as well, this doesn't really tie into anything, but I still think it's a good point. You don't just pick somebody random to take on one of the greatest, one of the most successful professional wrestlers ever. Everybody must have sat down and scratched their heads and gone, well, I think Kevin Owens would do a good job. When they pitched the idea to Stone Cold Steve Austin, who must have gone, I would love to work with Kevin Owens. Like, if you had picked him somebody else, he probably said, no way, man, I ain't interesting. But even the damn goat knows how good KO is. And I think that's probably a better point than me standing here and waving my arms around. Once again, I want to put this in your skulls. Stone Cold Steve Austin may have had his last ever match at WrestleMania 38, and he picked this guy. So don't you walk into my house and tell me he's no good. He's a flippin' best. I truly mean this as well. If I was starting a wrestling company tomorrow, Kevin Owens would be the first phone call I'd make. He'd be like, get off the phone. I don't know who you are. And you sound like a loon and he'd be 100% correct. And he could do anything that you want him to do. I'm kind of repeating what I did a few minutes ago, but you want him to be a baby face, he can do it. You want him to be a heel, he can do it. If you just want him to hold everything together, he can do it. You could even have a company full of rookies and Kevin Owens would be your only legendary veteran guy and you just know he could wring general the ship out of them and give you anything that you want. Now you're probably whirring through your brains right now going, oh, how can I say something that contradicts all this? I think you're going to be able to come up with it. Because go look at the evidence. Go through Kevin Owens' career. Although when you do go back to his early days of Ring of Honor, my word, as he calmed it down, this dude used to be crazy. I also do think he opened a bunch of doors for the brand new version of whatever wrestling is meant to be. This does go back to the way that he looked because he just proved if you have something inside of you that resonates with us wrestling fans, you can get to the tippity tippity top which he's basically done for the last decade. I really do hope he goes on a bit longer than a few years. He was saying in an interview the other day, he thinks he's close to the end, the beginning, which is true. You know, he's got a 45 Kev or maybe 50, 55, and yeah, maybe call it quits at 60. We see wrestlers at the big 6-0. Always gets me a bit worried. So I just think he's wonderful. There you go, I've said it. And right now, if I was gonna make a list of my top five current favorite wrestlers, I think he would actually be number one, at the very worst, be number two. So you know you see those threads on forums that just says Kevin Owens appreciation post. That's what I've done today. And if the vid video title could work as Kevin Owens appreciation video, I would call it that. But instead, I've gone with the GOAT. But you know what? I genuinely think he's in the conversation because I think he rules. Now, of course, you can go nuts in the comments about this, but you're never going to change my mind no matter what you do. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe, and make sure all your notifications are on. If I haven't put you off, you would like to hear me talk more about wrestling, click the video on the screen. Otherwise, my friends, take care of yourself. And remember, we all have favorites in professional wrestling. That's what makes it so exciting. There'll be guys I like that you think are crap and vice versa. But also remember that real human beings too, don't be mean. Didn't need to finish it like I was your dad. See you soon.